Welcome to People of Color in Psychology. I am your host, Jack Tsen. I'd like to take a moment to thank all of you for listening to this podcast and for supporting our AAPI series in May. Our goal is to amplify the voices from people of color in psychology and the mental health field so that together we can help lead and shape this field when it comes to mental health research, training, and treatment. I have some exciting news to share. In addition to the ongoing production of this podcast, we will be launching continuing education programs. In April, the Multicultural Counseling Institute, which is the organization that produces this podcast, was approved by the American Psychological Association to be a CE sponsoring organization. And our goal will be to recruit 75% of instructors of color. As part of our initial and soft launch of the CE program, I will be hosting a live webinar titled Cultural Considerations and Mindfulness-Based Treatments. The webinar will be on Friday, July 28th at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. This is a soft launch, and I would love for you to join me. Once we go through the soft launch, we'll schedule Dr. Mejia's webinar. Cognitive Behavioral Therapy for Chronic Pain with Hispanic Clients, and from there, actively recruit instructors. So one of the reasons I picked a topic of cultural considerations and mindfulness-based treatments is because of my own personal journey. While I don't currently consider myself a practicing Buddhist, I grew up around Buddhism and attended Buddhist temples and Dharma teachings for several years. I even did a couple of 10-day Vipassana meditation retreats. Growing up, I watched my mother practice Buddhism in her own way. Every morning, she would meditate with her prayer beads in front of an altar displaying three different Buddhas. So here's my mom naming the different Buddhas. This is Namu Amitabha, Namu Guanxin Pusa, Namu Da Shizhi Pusa. Now, many of us have lived through the pandemic, and we've probably seen digital ads and digital apps that promise mindfulness as a quick fix for anxiety and stress. In 2019, Ronald Purser published the book Make Mindfulness, which explores the commercialization of mindfulness and the potential downsides of secular mindfulness. More peer-reviewed articles have also been published on the issue of equity in mindfulness treatments, including population access and the importance of incorporating a culturally responsive approach. Taken together with my own development in facilitating mindfulness workshops, personal experiences with Buddhism and mindfulness, and seeing a growing trend in evaluating mindfulness-based treatments from an inclusive and equity standpoint, I hope to offer a continuing education where we can think critically about how we approach and deliver mindfulness-based treatments. So as part of the program's learning objectives, I'd like to explore with attendees three things. Number one, ways to plan culturally responsive mindfulness-based interventions. Number two, compare Buddhism's right mindfulness versus secular mindfulness. Lastly, number three, identify potential risks and harms when teaching mindfulness-based treatments when working with populations of color. So for those who are listening to this episode, I hope you can join me on the soft launch Friday, July 28th at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. Again, thank you very much for listening to this podcast and your ongoing support.